So in a previous video, when I was talking about different types of considerations when buying a multimeter, we looked at the counts of the meter and how that can impact the accuracy of your meter. Now with the Fluke 117, that's a 6,000 count meter. So if we measure a voltage of nine volts, we're only gonna get two digits of information past the decimal point. Now in the previous video, I went ahead and calculated the accuracy for the Fluke 117 6,000 count meter with a reading of 9.38 volts and an accuracy of around plus or minus 0 0.07 volts. Now what I wanted to do in this video is show you another example using a different reading. Now let's say I took another measurement this time of a single cell AA battery and I get 1.618. Now you see I get that extra digit of information. I didn't have to steal information to get to this extra digit. So I actually get to express four digits this time. So because I didn't exceed that maximum value of 5999, I get to keep all four digits of information here. So this means that when I go to do my accuracy, I have my reading. Here I have my lowest digit count value, which right, is based off that lowest digit right there. Now, because I was able to maintain that digit, it drastically increases my accuracy. So when I go to calculate my accuracy down here, you can see I have a much better accuracy than I did in my other situation. And also because this number is lower, I have a lower overall variation that I can have. And so my accuracy is much tighter for this reading. Hopefully seeing another example of how your multimeter counts influences the accuracy of your meter has clarified some of the issues and hopefully answer some of the questions that might have been brought up in the other video. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to check out some of our other great videos.